Headline News Update. everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 21st of October, wrapping up October, very close. And we're looking at a Dow that's uh, up 17, but the S&P is up 15. This is interesting because, you know, on the Chapman Wave, we're always looking for those peak Ds. We got that one in July, 27,306. We just missed it by nine points here at 27,120 last week. But look at this. You've got the S&P. Yes, sirree. It did do that peak D, but what I would said to subscribers to my opening call, my daily newsletter said, watch out because there is still some strength. Look, the MACD is still strong. Stochastics at 91%. It did make peak D in the uh, S&P and in the QQQ, 1, 2, 3, the NDX 100 goes to fourth highest peak, peak D, just as it did back at 194.71 on the 12th of September. Then it dropped sharply to 181. But the MACD is very strong. The stochastic started at 89%. There's internal strength. Now, with the Dow, you had Boeing getting smashed to the downside again today. You got Johnson & Johnson on Friday. You had, you know, th this is a rotational correction that's going on right now. If you look at the IWM a little bit stronger, it's up 1.93, 154.53. It's finally making that leg D. There it is. So uh, we're looking at the Russell 2000, the small caps doing a little bit better. Gold um, has had a tough time lately. It's trying to rally, but it can't get above that 14 period moving average or the black. Uh, uh, this is the black line for 14 period moving average or the nine period, the, the purple one. This is going to be very interesting because gold is, is kind of resting after a huge move to the upside. But at the same time, you've got the dollar, DXY, there it is, the dollar um, having gone from 99 and a half down to seven, nine, almost 97, trying to rally here a little bit. This is going to be very interesting how this plays out because you've also got bonds coming down sharply. So the yields are moving up, which is, of course, is helping the XLF, the financials, going to a leg D. We'll be talking a lot more about this in my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in a couple of minutes after this break. And uh, let me just say also that we got um, high-grade copper. High-grade copper is moving up quite nicely, but it's still way down at the lows. I'll be discussing all of this because this is a difficult market right now. We'll be back in a few minutes with my Tiger Technicians Hour. I'm Basil Chapman signing off. Going to be um, going straight to uh, commercial. Then we will have Tiger Technicians Hour. And a lot of detailed work. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you soon.